What's up guys, it's Nate Doggy Dog 52 I'm here again with another vid uh, out in the back garden enjoying the sunshine uh, This may come as a little bit of a surprise to people what the, the sneaker is that I'm going to do in this vid It's not just a basketball sneaker, it's a running sneaker uh, Before I get into that, I've got a bag here of some stuff that I picked up uh, at a recent Nike store uh, sale So, i got these nice LeBron shorts, the outdoor tech ones you got your swoosh on this side, LeBron uh, insignia there, the crown logo. And this great little part here is to wipe your hands on, and it's also here to wipe your hands on if you're getting sort of dark or wet or whatever on them. So that's them. And I uh, also picked up the uh, jersey of it. So you got the LeBron, the LG and crown logo right there. Nike swoosh on the back. And again, this has the outdoor tech stuff, but it's got it on the inside of the chest, which is real nice. It's a real nice feature to have. Uh, also, Got this nice little LeBron tee. It's a really nice tee. I really like this one. I initially saw it. It's, uh, it says LeBron, and then it has James in the shadow on it, with the Nike swoosh below and the LJ crown logo. This is a dry fit tee, and it was also uh, a brilliant pickup that day. So the sneakers are right here. Now you see the box numbers. So it's an orange Nike box that came in. Uh, these are the Lunar Glide Plus 5s. They are Nike Plus enabled. Uh, the official colorway is Blue Hero Black Anthracite Total Orange. Uh, US 13, UK 12. The style code is 599160 and the color code is 400. Um, so that, that's the inside of the box right there. You've got your more from your run, keep, uh, keep track, get a push, Stay connected, all about the Nike Plus um, is available in this sneaker. So that is the sneaker. Oh, that is the sneaker right there. This is the Lunar Glide 5. So I'm just going to grab the left, uh, put the box down right now. So uh, this is the fifth Lunar Glide in the series. Uh, this is a very, very popular running shoe. Um, uh, it's just basically improving on the previous one, which was the 4. Uh, in order to do that, they just brought it back to simplicity and looked at the fit and support, um, which are two things that Nike, I feel, does really, really well. Uh, so with regards to this shoe, um, they went with an engineered, engineered mesh upper. Uh, this again was to cut down on stitches and sewing and having multiple materials together. Um, so uh, engineered mesh is brilliant because it offers breathability but doesn't compromise the structure and um, of the sneakers, so you've got your mesh parts on the toe, but you also have your areas for structure, which is brilliant. Uh, they have the dynamic flywire through the lacing system, so what this basically means is that when you are pulling on your laces, these cables are being tensioned to come up and really wrap around your foot like this, so that again is improving on the fit of the shoe. Uh, this shoe is designed for people with a moderate to over pronators, uh, which in regards as to how you strike the ground and going through the heel to midfoot to toe motion, um, specifically heel to midfoot more so um, in regards to your running and each pace that you take or step that you take. One of the main ways that this shoe was able to be helpful was it offers dynamic support right there. So what this is, is basically within the heel you have on the outer, on the uh, lateral side, you have a nice soft lunar lawn foam which acts like a crash mat for when you're taking the uh, initial this does is basically it absorbs a lot of the contact through the nice soft foam, but then it also acts as a wedge system with the armor foam on the medium side going around the slope upwards. What that does is this prevents you then from rolling in the way, so you get a nice soft land and gradual over to this side. Um, so that really does help with the lunar on foam and um, a harder foam working in tandem. Um, with that wedge system to really give you that um, support for when you are running. Um, it is Lunar Lawn foam that is in the sole, uh, which is a brilliant foam. It's very lightweight, but it's yet responsive and uh, is a brilliant, brilliant foam that Nike have developed and they're rolling out across a lot of their sneakers now. It's in basketball, it's in run, it's in, they're even going back and putting it on sportswear sneakers now, which is incredible. Uh, also, um, if you're running at night time, uh, times of poor visibility. There is 3M on the back right here and also on the tab that says Nike Lunar Glide 5 on the tongue which is brilliant. Uh, you have mesh on the tongue which again will increase breathability for the shoe. 
sure when you're running. Uh, you have a folding heel clip um, for around the heel area and this um, is to minimise the rotational heel movement and to keep you locked in. This combined with the foam on the inside really does help to do that. Um, in regards to the outsole, you've got BRS 1000 rubber right here. This um, is strategically put in high wear areas which again is where you're striking. You know, that initial impact of here when you're coming down and you strike and then you slowly roll and then you come off. So that's brilliant for that and it wraps slightly back up onto the side of the shoe as well. So it comes up around the side and also up to the back, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got your Lunalon foam here, which is nice and soft, yet responsive uh, cushioning. Uh, is Nike Plus enabled this shoe, which is the first shoe that I've had uh, with a purchase that has Nike Plus uh, compatibility within it. Um, then you've got coming up to the midfoot, you have the strategically placed flex grooves. These are to increase the heel strike to midfoot to then tone it off um, movement. I'll just let you see that right now. So that coming like that, it's increasing this movement from when you're landing on the heel, coming onto the midfoot and then towing off. That's increasing that through these strategically placed flex grooves. Also you have the environment preferred rubber on the uh, waffle pattern on the sole. Uh, this again allows you to have traction, very good traction um, in all weather in all directions also. And because it is um, a slightly um, harder way to rubber it will last you that little bit longer. Uh, so, in order for the best complement features of the shoe, I went ahead and I purchased these uh, running socks right here. So these are the Nike Elite um, running socks. I got them in the same sort of blue colour as the shoe. And um, a couple of quick things with them. It's ventilated like mesh for lightweight breathability um, up around on the, uh, the top here. Um, you also have low friction construction which reduces abrasion over the heel and toes and engineered with flat toe seams for reduced uh, friction. So these are brilliant socks. I can't wait to go out a run with using these and also my lunar glides. Uh, so what this well. And also I purchased the Nike Plus chip. You do only have to purchase one of these um, and you just pop it in your shoe. Um, so you can use that and then you use that with your Nike Plus account. This uh, tracks your runs, like the distances you've run, your pace, all these kind of things. That's all tracked by this little chip that you have to calibrate. Um, and it just goes within the shoe. I'll just like see where it goes. So if you just lift up the insole, there's a nice little part here where the chip goes in. Uh, so that's that. And it is the left shoe that the chip goes in. Um, with some of the newer Nike, um, Nike Plus, like the ones that released last year in times of the Olympics, you, ha you had to put a chip in both. But this chip is not that same chip. This is a, this was the original one. This is a slightly less complex um, one. So that's that chip right there. Uh, so I'm just going to pop these sneakers on feet and let everyone have a look um, before I head off. So that's the sneakers right there. That's the side view. Front. The other side and the back. Let me see the soles. So immediately I can tell as soon as I step in the heel. Immediately I can tell as soon as I'm stepping in the heel, the comfort and the cushion in these is incredible. These sneakers are uh, absolutely incredible. Um, it'd be a great shoe for anyone who's just looking for a really, really comfortable shoe. Or if you do want to go running in them, these are your man. Uh, so these are a very, very um, great shoe. Very, very happy with them. And of course, I had to get the next colourway. It was between these, black and white, or this colourway I've purchased here. So I went for the blue and orange, being a next fan. Uh, so anyone that knows anything about me um, knows now it's time for me to grab a phone and jump into my shout-outs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Uh, so... We are now at 54 uh, names on the shout-out list, which is pretty impressive. Uh, if you do want to be added, just leave a comment on the vid and ask nicely and it can be done. Uh, so first up is my boy Horse Eddie. Uh, next up is Ike Bezel. Uh, the Sneaker Addict, aka DJ Dells. Black Santa 24, Fran Relations, JJ Jumpman 23, JSTAR 25, who uh, commented on my Instagram pic saying that he had uh, the Lunar Glides, which is brilliant. Uh, Parametric 99, Dubstep Slap 4 and 5. Uh, the big homie, the big sneaker brother over there in Detroit, Jumpman Bostic, shout out to him. 
laid back 365, sticky 213, nice kicks, the store over there in Austin, Texas, D63 SX5, uh, Crazy Black Man 108, ZX, just for kicks 212, Damn Erica, that's you girl Katie, uh, Nightwing 2303, Sneakerfiles.com, uh, Duke was terrible at the game, 59, CBC 666, The Simp Jam, No Mosaic, my boy Alan from Glasgow, Logan J. Bays, Sam Colt, who's uh, YouTube username is 3TVID, shout out to DJ Hess also, whose uh, channel is Hess Kicks. Also, we have Dinesha Johnson, DJ Drama 5, Swag On, Haters Out, Optimus P517, the homie over there in Boston, T Blake. One Veracity, Flight School Shoes, Mr. Fomer Simpson, Drawing Skills, Heart and Souls, TMV Sneakers, uh, the homie over there in Tampa, Guns and Gloves, salute him. Uh, also, we have a Bearing Astronaut 23, Cycle Kicks 23, MRJ UNC 23, and my boy over there in Boston, Yo Ante, uh, iBeast365, Mr. Nike SB6, Bullet RC, The Real Ray Ray 20, Ski TV, London Regassa, Ray Fizzy, Casey Towsley, and Davidson Aberdeen. Uh, so shout out to all of those people. Um, thanks very much for checking out my vid. And if you like what you've seen, please do like and comment. And if you want to keep up to keep up to date with what I'm doing, what I'm copying, and everything else, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The link is going to appear right here, just below me. Uh, it will also be at the end of the vid as well. Uh, so this is Nate Doggy Dog 52 signing off. Uh, peace until the next vid, and do subscribe not to miss out.